Alright guys, in today's video we've got this new Dragon Ball Diamond banner for Goku or Goku Mini and also Gluio, right? And are we talking about whether you should summon or skip? Because obviously, the big thing you have to look at first is Legends Fest is literally just around the corner. I don't know if it's in the news just yet, but there is a countdown happening in I think two days from now. Uh, just want to double check, make sure it's not in the news already. Doesn't look like it, but it's like two or three days off, right? So, that's your first thing to look out for, and then obviously you got the proper banner itself. So I guess we'll talk about the banner first, and then we'll sort of go from there, right? So, the one thing I do heavily dislike about this banner is they didn't keep the same format as the other one. I don't know if it should be still up. This one, right? This banner here is very good, right? This is a very good format. Now, I sort of understand why they didn't do it, because I think it's probably actually too good to be true, sort of thing. Now, the main reason why I say that is, as you can see here, two of the ten drops will have a 50% chance of being Goku Minis, right? So, what that means is, obviously, per multi, you get ten characters, right? The last two, so nine and ten, has a 50% chance to be Goku, right? Which is absolutely huge, huge thing, right? Obviously, it's not guaranteed to be Goku in them two slots, but the chances are very high, right? Now, the reason why I heavily dislike the banner we got now is it's i don't know i guess it's the rates that's really throwing me off i mean i guess it's that and also the format itself right so let's have a quick look so the rates are in here so z power list so it's not too bad right you do have a one percent chance which is obviously a lot better than the lfs but at the same time even the lf selections are very trash so you got well i wouldn't say very trash but you got ultimate go on here which obviously does go to beast Gohan, which, he's still a very good unit, right? Don't get me wrong. Gohan's still a good unit. Then you got Goku Youth. Yeah, again, I don't mind him, but slowly dropping off. Uh, Gamma 1 and 2. Uh, and then you got this Super Saiyan Goku, which is very weird. But at the same time, I was thinking about it last night. And I think I know why they hinted that. Right, this might be a bit of a, a far-fetched sort of guess. But I guess it sort of would make a lot of sense. But I'm thinking... The, like, the Goku here is a hint towards Super Saiyan Goku Mini, right? Now, we all, all know it happens in the, you know, in the series, because it's in, obviously, uh, the trailer and all that, right? But it's not in-game yet, right? So, I'm assuming that's their hint saying whenever that drops, you know, if it's next episode, you go Super Saiyan or whatever, right? I'm pretty sure that this is, like, a, s a slight hint that the next Goku Mini will be Super Saiyan. Yet again, that's probably a far-fetched sort of guess, but... It would make a lot of sense as well. But at the same time, I have no clue. Like I said, I have no clue when the next banner's going to drop. Stuff like that, right? It's just a, a waiting game, right? But that's what I've said in a lot of my Summer of Skip videos. You do have to be careful because Legends can literally drop these banners out of nowhere. Right? We had no clue this was coming at all. And it's just like, hey, here you go. Here's a banner of Glor like Glory and Goku Mini. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I do like that sort of thing. But at the same time, when Legends Fest is around the corner, it's... Uh, a bit of a hard decision, right? Because obviously I did summer on this banner, and I got semi-lucky. I got both of them up to over 7 stars, which is what I was aiming for. But, I mean, I was trying to get 14 stars if the banner format was better, but, yeah. So I guess now we'll talk about, um, what do you call it? The, like, the, your rotations, right? So I can't pull up the first summon, but your first step is, I think it's a 3 times summon, which is 300cc, if I remember correctly. And as you can see here, you got the 500 CC for 5 units, and then you got 7 for 700, and then you have a free one which has, um, you know, full multi, right? So, to me, that's a really big sort of bait by Legends. It's, it's like, I'll admit, it's a very smart decision to do that, because a lot of people look at this and go, oh, wow, that's really good, so, like, really cheap discounts, right? But, what I was saying in my Summon of Skip video, if you've watched that, is it looks good on paper, but when you think about it, you're missing potential characters, right? So, you know, for example, the 300cc that you spend on your first step, you're missing seven characters out of that multi, right? Now, obviously, you can either get Goku Minis out or Glorios in them last seven spots, right? Because of the rates. Now, if you look at the rates again, you know, sparking rates have a 10% chance, and then, you know, you go 1% there. I mean, the math, I'm not really too sure exactly how it works, but you can sort of see what I mean, right? It looks really good on paper, but when you look at it, you know, you're missing potentially, let's just say, throw it out there, you're missing seven sparkings on the first step, right? And them seven sparkings have a potential to carry one or multiple copies 
or Goku meaning Glorio, right? Same with the other steps, right? Your second step and your third step. I mean, the third step probably isn't too much, but your second step, right? You're still missing five characters over, like, you know, a good chance of being a sparking. Yet again, Glorio or Goku Mini, right? So that's how I'm looking at it. It looks really good and enticing to summon, but when you look at it in the technical point of view, it's not really the best format at all, right? Now, obviously, I think what they could have done is sort of kept this sort of banner format here, but instead of the last two slots, they could have even made this the last slot as a 50% chance to be either Goku Mini or Glorio. Or make it so the ninth step, or the ninth character, has 50% chance to be Glorio, and then the, um, the tenth slot have a good chance to be Goku Mini, right? I think they very well could have done that, but at the same time, you got to look at it at Legends' point of view. This is a gacha game. They want you to spend money. They want you to waste your CC. They know that Legends Fest is just around the corner, and they know people are saving for it, right? So these sort of banners, we probably will see, I wouldn't say another one, but probably during Legends Fest, we could definitely see more of these sort of random diamond banners. Unless, of course, obviously there is diamond units coming for Legends Fest, which we, we don't know yet, right? So yeah, overall, like I said, I just recommend don't summon on this banner at all. If you want, I guess it wouldn't hurt to go three multis or something in, because you're still not that much CC, so it's 300 plus 500, um, so it's like 800 something CC, and then you got 700, so you're not, it's what, under 2k, I think, or just about 2k CC, which isn't a lot, but at the same time, you could use that CC for Legend of Us as well, right? So it's really... Up to you, but if I had to say it, I'd say three multi, like three rotations max. I would not get any further than that. There is pity, but you know, 30 per one for me, that's a bit over the top. But I, I, like I said, I can see what they're trying to do. So, yeah, that's gonna be today's video, guys. Um, if you guys actually did decide to summon this banner, let me know how you guys went. If you got them very early, stuff like that, you got very lucky on the banner, and um. Yeah, if you guys like to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you as a win the next one.